So I literally just started learning how to ride the bike. And I also had to get a helmet as well. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're just stopping by you're most definitely welcome so today i'll be doing five must have relevant skills needed as a data analyst i have a list of several relevant skills that i feel and i believe that every one person who's looking to explore this space as a data analyst should pretty much have and i think even in terms of how to go about learning these skills i literally also highlighted it right so from the first step way down to the fifth step the very first skill is microsoft excel or better still google sheets right so microsoft excel is a package owned by microsoft themselves and google sheets is um, a software also owned by google right? amongst other skills that they do have microsoft excel is literally very basic to learn and it's um, a relevant must have skills for even any beginner that wants to come into this space. And now, this because most data said that you actually do gather, let me say, from um, the web or even from the from whatever data sources, right? Even in CSVs, that's comma separated values um, formats. You can literally impute them into the Excel sheet. And even aside that, it has some relevant functions that are literally required on a day-to-day -day job, right? So for example, you have the sum, you have the count E, right? But aside that, there are also amazing things that Microsoft Excel can literally help you Excel at. I know, get that. Excel, Excel out. Excel at, Excel, Excel. All right, guys, <laughs> let's get back to it. So like I was saying, right, it's just a regular sum, sum if, and all other functions that are literally basic. Some really good ones that you should literally have under your tool belt are pivot table, very important. Um, also VLOOKUP as well too, or whatever lookups um, that you probably do know how to use, right? There's even HLOOKUP, that's the horizontal lookup. Some count if as well too. These are a few that I believe that if you do have it in your tool belt, it is really good and then again as basic as microsoft excel is the same command that you can run in there can also be run in the google sheet so what this means is that if for example you're working with a company where they are more tilted to the google family rather than the microsoft family you can literally transform this same command or transform this same um yes excel command that apply in the microsoft excel into the google sheet pretty much just a little bit different so yeah let's go to the next one sql oh why do i say sql well pretty much because if you really want to work on um relevant data on um, database generally so when i say relational database what i literally mean is database that can be classified or can be can be grouped into rows and columns pretty much as simple as that right because they have the relationships so that's why it's called relational data <laughs> I'm trying to get you understand how this little how these things that may seem so much is actually very simple to understand right so for example your sql is more like a query language so it's literally close to the human language so so in sql there's something called a select statement as simple as that and that's how you literally say select in the english language sql is a must have under your tool belt it's good for querying your database and literally that's literally the only language that your relational database understands so how do i communicate to my table if i do not have the right language to communicate to it to either query data fetch data or to even understand what data is about so sql comes in there right so with sql you can perform some really good and amazing amazing analysis in there different languages that you can that can be performed using sql there's the data definition language there's the data manipulation language and the fourth, third one they actually through you so having to select update alter the data manipulate the data these are many other functions that you literally have under your tool belt as a data analyst one thing to also note about using sql is to know that sql is also good in handling null values and it's also a very good integration with other scripting language like python and r and the very thought skills that is relevant for you to have on this space and that is 
the visualization tools there's a popular saying that goes um a picture is worth more than a thousand words right so yeah i do not even know how to explain how important this is right it's literally the bread and butter of your job as a data analyst so now the skill of um a data analyst that cannot be overlooked is visualization and as simple as that is it is very important because even just aside, I mean, you can do your whole query, your data, your whole data mining, data gathering, you know, with the different tools that you have. But you cannot visualize your data and make sense out of it to your relevant stakeholders or probably even your team members. It doesn't make sense, frankly speaking, right? So you need to understand how to use the relevant visualization tools that have been also used in this data analytics space as well. Because I will tell you, the technology stack is literally evolved. The one known, known tool that can be used is the Microsoft Power BI, which is in the family of microsoft as usual also have um other tools like tableau that can also be explored to in terms of visualizing visualizing your data and then currently in the modern data stack you hear about luca you hear about talk spots right i'm currently in a space where i'm having to upskill myself to learn about luca currently and i would say that um i think that's one of the amazing things as a data analyst where you're constantly learning and learning new tools and technology besides just having these basic power bi skills um it's also important to also transcend into understanding understanding the relevant visualization tools that are relevant even today currently and one thing i really like about even using power bi you can use second or hour and can integrate it into power bi literally that data source you can use is excel so this just tells you that most of the relevant um skills that are being learned are literally applied along the way in your journey probably working on a data analytics project or even working on the job as well so visualization skill is also very important because you're also able to identify trends you're also able to identify patterns also make focus as well too the fourth one on the list is communication and presentation skills right i mean yes you may have very excellent python skills you may have very good visualization skills right you may be very 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 good at creating your database but i mean if you do not know how to present your facts or even communicate your facts to different stakeholders right and make sense out of your data i mean you're literally just a data analyst without the most important skill which is how to communicate and how to present this data and facts to relevant stakeholders or to people who would really need it in providing insights to the project it worked on. I'd say that amongst all other three um, skills that I've mentioned, it's just really important to also have a very stellar, excellent communication and presentation skills for even non-technical members to understand what you're presenting and to make sense out of the data and findings that I've literally worked on. An additional skill I believe everyone person should have, especially as a data analyst, just to give you a competitive advantage as well as an edge amongst every other person in the space of data analytics, is to also at least have a, a knowledge of a programming language. So it could either be Python or R. And using Python is a very important programming language for anyone who wants to go into data analytics space. Python helps us get relevant data. Python is also using data science field as well too. So I believe that for you to have a competitive advantage in the market as um, or in the job space, you would need to have a very good working knowledge or even just the most basic knowledge of Python as a data analyst. And also because you can also use Python in Power BI. So Python allows you to run sentiment analysis in Power BI. So all these are many other things are literally one of the many reasons I believe you should have a knowledge of Python. This one, I mean, I don't think it's a skill, but I think it's relevant in this day and time, I must say. And frankly speaking, that's Googling. Gosh, you need to learn how to Google, right? Are you even a good data analyst without Googling? Pretty much, Google is there for you. Google is there to save you. Google is there to obscure you. Google is there to literally answer your questions. So my dearest, Coming into data analytics, right? Literally, you have to understand um, how to use Google effectively well. Now, you need to understand how to even search very well. Yeah, with Google, you can actually find some other websites and resources as well to such as Stack Overflow um, for asking and relevant answers to different questions you have. Also, you can also find websites such as um, Microsoft's community, right? the Power BI space. So, so many questions have been asked in there. So, you should also learn how to Google the right questions 
to get the right answer so thank you so much guys for watching i hope um you've been able to learn one or two things regarding relevant skills that you need to have as a data analyst I want to stay tuned to see what the next video con contains so we're going to see how we're going to apply some skills i mentioned in here to work on an end-to-end -end project a very beginner friend project at that so please ensure to like and also ensure to share and comment as well so i love that channel is growing i'm so excited to be in this channel with you have a great day bye guys